Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Audacity tutorial. I'm Josh Meyer of joshmeyervideo.com. I'm a professional voice talent. I've done over 3,000 paid voiceovers. I got into that through writing music, and I just so happen to be an expert in Audacity. So today we're going to talk about how to manually install plugins into your plugin folder, and then enable that in your Audacity. So this is something, um, if you all follow my channel, you probably know that I create custom EQs for people. I do uh, private consulting 101, uh, whether people are looking to up their game in Audacity or their voiceover career, um, whatever it may be, or home studio setup, trying to achieve professional sound, podcasters, you name it, I'm helping them. Uh, so one thing that we go over quite a bit, uh, is during the sessions, you know, I will send them plugins that are relevant to some of their needs and I will walk them through how to install that plugin, then enable it into audacity. So we have windows instructions and Mac instructions. Now, since I'm on windows, uh, we are going, I'm only going to be able to show you how to do it in windows. However, I walk people through, um, installing plugins on their Mac often. So, uh, we have the typed out instructions right here, and I will include that in the description below. And I will also, uh, go over those after we install this plugin on windows. So without further ado, let's do this. So what I did is I emailed myself just a, a random plugin. It's punch, copy, paste. Uh, and that's relevant to, to a lot of audiobook narrators. Um, but anyway, moving forward, let's get off of what this plugin is. Uh, we're going to simulate just downloading a plugin. So whether you download it off of the Audacity site or you get an email from me with a plugin or whatever it may be, we're going to download that. And once we have it downloaded, we will go into the downloads folder or wherever you had it downloaded to. And I'm going to ask you to click drag and drop and put that onto your desktop. So the next step for Windows will be clicking on your hard drive. So what I did here, just a nice easy way for me to do is I clicked on this folder icon on the taskbar and I scrolled down and I found Windows C, which is the hard drive. And from here, we are looking for the program files x86. So not the program files, but the program files x86. So we'll double click that. And voila, right there, Audacity, right at the top, alphabetical order. So let's double click Audacity. And we see the plugins folder. So we're going to double click the plugins folder. Okay, great. So this is a list of all of your plugins. So what do we do from here? It's easy, baby. It's easy. We click, drag, and drop the new plugin into the plugins folder. And yes, grant access. So pow. Now we need to go back into Audacity and enable that. So I will go to Effect. I will add Remove Plugins. Punch, copy, paste right here. All right, fantastic. So, you know, I just clicked here on name so we could put everything in alphabetic order and then punch, copy, paste. Fantastic. So we will highlight that by clicking it, click enable, and you can see it has changed from disable to enabled. And <laughs> very important, click OK. So it should now be showing up and I'll just create a random track just so we can have this stuff get bold colored for us. Okay. There it is. Punch, copy, paste. So that's exactly how you do that. Now let's talk about Mac. For Mac, the folder is located in libraries, application support, audacity, then plugins. So it's going to, once you get in to the library folder, it's going or past application support, shall I say, it's going to be a very, very similar process. So you would download the plugin, put that on your desktop, just like we did for the windows. 
and we will switch to the finder. You hold down the option key and then libraries, library will appear. Um, so you hold down the option key, library appears when you hold down the option key, click library, then from there, you will double click application support, then double click audacity, then double click plugins, then click drag and drop that plugin into the plugins folder, and then follow the uh, the rest, which is make sure you close audacity if you already have it open. Reopen Audacity, go to Effects, Add Remove Plugins, you know, uh, put your plugins in alphabetical order so you can search the name of the plugin. Click that, click Enable, then click OK, and you're all set. So that's exactly how you do that. Now, just a side note, I am building a course on creating your own custom EQs. I will keep you updated on that. I, I would believe it's likely available at the end of the year or the beginning of next year. And I've got more videos coming your way. So stay tuned. I'm not going anywhere. And if you're looking for private help or custom EQs, feel free to reach out. Until next time, stay safe, stay positive. I got your back.